That's drunk. A long while back, I took a look at a game called Psycho Dream. From a gameplay standpoint, it's a pretty standard action platformer, but from a visual and sound standpoint, it was anything but standard. The same developer, Riot, put their name to one other Super Nintendo game, or in this case, another Super Famicom game that never left Japan, Edo no Kiba. This one's not quite as crazy as Psycho Dream, but it's still worth checking out. It's a solid run-and-gun title with uh, a lot of running, as you can see. In this first level here, your character runs by default, while you press B to jump and Y to use a lightsaber attack. You can also hold down the Y button to create a makeshift shield, and if you hold forward when letting go of Y, you'll throw your lightsaber as a boomerang, easily the best attack in the game. You get 9 lives and 9 continues to get through only 5 levels, so this game is pretty forgiving. I mean, if you die, you respawn on the left side of the screen in the same place every time. But make no mistake, these levels are long, and this playthrough still takes something like 40 or 45 minutes. You'll also notice your health in the upper left is represented by a number instead of a meter, but that's mostly just a cosmetic thing since everything seems to take 10 or 12 health from you. Edo no Kiba does a nice job mixing things up with some variety here and there. The first level has you sprinting down a road 99 miles an hour like you're Usain Bolt, taking out other mechs riding motorcycles until you fight, uh, who is this, Guile, if he were a cyborg? Of all the attacks he could do, he settles on a Jimmy Superfly Snooka style splash for some reason, and after you take him out, you fight a uh, garbage truck? Only it's more of a garbage clown car since there's an infinite number of cyborg android things that jump out to attack you. When you get to level 2, apparently your character needs to catch its breath or something because now you're merely walking before you get to this huge ass boss with a flamethrower, hell yeah! Level 3 has you flying around Silver Surfer style as you get attacked by missiles by the dozen. Unfortunately, this game runs into quite a bit of slowdown here before you fight this giant face and oh dear god. This thing's hair makes it look like a photo negative of the Denerex guy. Level 4 has you walking again before you're underwater fighting what looks like that robotic dragon serpent thing from Mega Man X. And from there, you're flying on the nose of a rocket like something out of Run Saber before getting to this goofy final boss fight. What I like here is that the bosses here actually have health meters. I always appreciate being able to, you know, actually see if you're making progress or just spitting into the wind. This game is a pretty fun playthrough, but there's still plenty of flaws here, the most glaring one being the hit detection. It's really tough to actually hit enemies without taking damage yourself. I guess that's just one of the hazards that comes with having a melee attack in a run-and-gun game, kind of like Shatterhand for NES, but it still gets really frustrating. I mean, right at the beginning of the game, you're likely to lose a couple of lives just trying to get used to hitting moving targets while moving yourself while trying to avoid bumping into things. I think there's more good than bad here though, yeah this is a pretty simple game all told, but the boss fights are fun, like here you're fighting a boss that looks like something you might see at your grandma's garage sale, but it does do a cool pixelated effect when it takes damage. Plus it's always fun to try and piece together the story even when you have no idea what the heck is supposed to be happening. Alright, it's a foggy day in 2050, in fact it's so foggy this guy crashes his car and it bursts into flames, I don't know, there's not much to work with here, although look at the background of this first level. What the hell kind of city is this? Is someone playing light bright with the buildings or something? But yeah, Edo no Kiba is real simple. If you want to play as a badass mech that makes other mechs go boom with the lightsaber, you'll have fun with this one. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating because it's so easy to take damage, but geez louise, this game couldn't be more forgiving if it tried. I know on the surface this one looks a little bit like it would be something like Cybernator or Metal Warriors, but really it plays more to me like Run Saber, another solid run and gun title, and it's more along those lines in terms of quality. So it's not a must play by any stretch, but it's still worth checking out any way you can. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.